today and welcome to another massive edition of the ADFNL Footy Show. Thanks to One Time Delivery Solutions. My name's Genji. I'm joined by Tara Murray. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, we certainly had a great week on, uh, well, great night on Wednesday night with the uh, very Tadpook Court Park, the, uh, the junior best and fairest. A fantastic night. We had over 300 strong in attendance and uh, had some great best and fairest winners. Just a fantastic night. One of the premier events on the ADFNL calendar. So thanks for everyone for, uh, for being a part of it as we turn our attention and switch gears to the big, uh, the final round of the season. And we've got an absolute cracker. We do. We've still got a final spot up for grabs. And we've got a really, I think it'll be a really exciting match between two teams that will play finals. And we've seen, um, Luke played a close one earlier in the season. Could quite easily be a grand final. There's, there's several yeah. possible grand final <laughs> matchups in this top six. So, But that will be one if we looked at that and go, yep, that would be a worthy one if it happens to be the case. Well, let's talk up that one. It is Rupert's Wood playing host to Wallen. This is, this is going to be an incredible game for the Pies. Basically, it's pretty much a, a top two spot on the line here. It is. They're looking to um, move up the ladder. Obviously, Rupert's would already have a top two spot. So you've got Wallen, I think, sitting third at the moment behind Riddle. But they can drop behind Diggers Rest as well. So mm. if they do lose. So Wallen's probably got a little bit more on the line in what position they're sort of looking at, whether they finish in second, third or a fourth. So, look, if, if Riddle win, it, you'd say that Wallen would still finish third no matter what their result, no matter if they win, if they get the win. Yep. If they lose, they could drop to fourth behind Diggers Rest. So they've probably got a little bit more on the line to play for. It'll be interesting, I think, from the Sharks' perspective, whether they get the likes of Brett Chambers and Dean Pup back. We haven't seen them back in the side. Yep. Obviously, Brent Swallow was already has returned, but it'll be interesting whether they get those two guys back for the final round and get a game into them before finals. That's probably one of the interesting aspects there. But yeah, I don't. it'll be an interesting match and see who goes full tilt and who sort of what happens there. Your tip for this one? Look, I think Wallen has more to play for. I did tip Rupert's Wood because they will want to. They will want to um, get them back after last time these two teams met. Wallen did beat them last time, but I still think the Sharks will be too strong. Well, I'll, uh, I'll give my tips after we finish the games because I want to just do a bit of a quick analysis on how the top six will finish. There's a bit of a romance, a footy fan uh, in me that sort of describes on how I think this one will un unfold. So uh, I'll give my tip later on. Uh, Sunbury Kangaroos and Rock Bank. We know these two teams have. Uh, had a good rivalry over the years, been a lot of uh, you know, players and coaching staff going from one club to the other. It's a, They're two very involved clubs. They are, and look, it'll be an interest. Both of these clubs will be looking to finish the season on a high. It's been a tough season for both of these clubs. Rock Bank, we always knew, was going to be, um, they again, we're going to be down towards the bottom of the ladder. And, but I think for them, it's the next two, three years that are really important. This was another year of just making sure, getting games into play, getting the club going off field and making sure everything's settled there and then they can really launch on field. For the Kangaroos, they did lose a lot of players and probably struggled for that depth they've had the last couple of years. But we've shown when they play well, they can really match it with sides. They, they've knocked off Wood and Heskett, they've knocked off Macedon and they probably should have knocked off Wallen earlier in the mm, season as well. Right. So if they had have had those three scalps, you go, they're a side that has shaped that top six. So in there, I think the Kangaroos will be too strong, but it'll be pretty interesting to see how the rounds finish the season. Looking forward to seeing uh, Joshy Burgess uh, get up and kick a few goals, maybe kick 10 or something like that, because he does have the ability to, to kick bags and uh, no doubt that'll get the crowds fired up. Look, it is, and I think um, they've got their sponsors day down there as yep. well, so they're expecting a big day down there. And you've got the netball, um, I think there'll be an a lot of interest down there as well, with Rock Bank's C-grade side looking to play finals as well. So they need a win over there. Kangaroo's looking to get a couple more wins with the netball. But yeah, I think it'll be a pretty interesting day down there, and uh, hopefully a good end to the season yeah. for both those teams after what's been a tough year. Absolutely. Uh, Lancefield and Macedon? In the end, there's not much to play for in this one. No. You've got Macedon's going to finish fifth, Lancefield's going to likely finish second, the third bottom. So there's probably not much to play for there, but a bit of pride. Um, I think the Cats will be looking to get a bit of form back. Yeah, that's they've, a key for them. They've been a little bit up and down. They've lost three out of the last four, so they'll be looking to regain some of that form and um, go into finals on a high. For the Tigers, at, like Rock Bank, it's about finishing the season on a high. And probably with Macedon too, is that they've lost three of the last four, but they could have also won four or four as well, given the closest of the margins. It is, but I think they were disappointing in some of those games. Obviously, mm. some of the Kangaroos, they, was a disappointing game. Riddle, we... Uh, sorry, that, yeah, Riddle was Riddle, Riddle, yep, yep. yep that, that one they could have quite easily won. I think there's three points between Riddle and Macedon this year, and they've both got a win each, so it could have gone either way. And that's what you mentioned, that they're not completely out of games. Yeah. They have been close losses. Look, probably the Romsey game was probably the big one. Yeah, the, that last quarter fade out hurt them. The, yeah, that's probably the, been the big the big one where they haven't been in the game. But the other two, they could have quite easily got wins there. Yeah, and probably what they did is potentially that, that, that result there actually propelled one team into the top six. So that was, uh, you know, for Romsey. Um, and we'll talk up them now as Romsey do play Broadford. Now it is all a bit of a, a waiting game, but 
That, that win against Macedon has put them in the position where they are in for this particular game. They've, uh, they've Broadford have been going under, playing some good, competent footy in recent weeks. So, how do you see this one going? Look, we're seeing Romsey has been probably a little bit up and down. We saw a very solid performance against Riddle. They couldn't quite get the job. And they've always said if they're not playing at 100%, they're not going to knock off these top teams. And that's probably the case even if they're at 90% these top teams are probably still going to be too good. And I think that's what we saw with Riddle and Romsey um, last weekend. And obviously before that, they lost to Wood and Heskett. So they need a big win here. Mm. They lose here, they don't play finals. Yeah. And that's it. The equation is they've got to win. They probably need to win big. They can get a bit of percentage boost as well because it could come down to percentage if Wooden Heskett ends up getting a win. And at this stage, Wooden Heskett does have a better percentage and he's sitting in that sixth spot. Let's talk up that game. Uh, Wooden Heskett do travel away to the Bombers. Uh, basically, the, the scenario is very simple. The Hawks win, they're probably in. That's it, and it's come down. We have seen the last couple of years that we have had percentage decide the top six. So well, I'm not going to mm. say straightforward that a win. Well, there's, gonna... a, there's a lot of percentage, though. I think it's a, a, over twenty percent that's coming into play here. Yeah. Well, we have seen. I think a couple of years ago, Wollan had a. Two, I think it was nearly a two hundred point win in that final round to get into the top six. So at this stage, I'm not saying anything yeah, yeah. except from what we've seen last. Like last year, it came down to the final round between Wollan, Romsey, and Sunbury Kangaroos were all fighting for spots. So be pretty interesting. Look, you probably need um, Wood and Heskett. Um, to only have a small win, yep. that was the case. And But in the end, I, like I'm with you, if Wood End win, they likely play finals, which would be massive for the Hawks. They haven't played finals for yeah. a number of years and would show that, that improvement they've done and probably the reward for the improvement more than anything. We have seen them rise up the ladder and a lot of people expected them to play finals. They dropped a couple of games they probably didn't expect to drop. I think there was one against Romsey. Uh, there was um, definitely the one against some yep. of the Kangaroos. They dropped one, I think, against Romsey earlier in the season as well. It's those sort of couple of games that have cost them dearly. In the end, they play Riddle, who we all say the informed team of the competition haven't lost since round three, currently sitting second with a top two spot up for grabs. If they do lose it and Wong and win, they could possibly slip to third, I think it is. So it'll be an interesting final round there. Who wins this one? I think Riddle is still too strong. Yeah, yeah. But it'll be quite interesting if Wood End got the win. I think they showed some vulnerabilities last week, and that's uh, hats off to Romsey for an outstanding effort there as well, from uh, from what I saw in the final game we'll, uh, we'll talk up. Diggers rest v Mountain Centrals. Um, Centrals, they want to go out and and play with a lot of confidence here. It is, and we've seen they can upset sides. They did upset Wallen a few weeks ago. Look, they've probably been a little bit disappointing since then. They, they've been poor against Macedon and Rupert's Wood, so they have played. Um, they have had a tough, mm. tough run home with four of the top five to finish the season, and they've, they've had some mixed results. I think Diggers rest will be too strong. They'll be another side looking to take some form into finals. Depending on results, they can, can go up to third as well, so there is a lot of incentive there. You, you finish third, you play sixth, if you get that first First win in the first win first week of the finals, you get that double chance. So there's a lot on the line for Diggers Rest still there to try and finish third. Exactly right there. Well, we'll uh, I'm, I'm gonna I want to hear your top six predictions before uh, before I go into mine. How, how do you see the ladder shaping up once this round's finished? Look, I think Rupert's Wood will finish on top. Yep. Followed by Riddle. Yep. Then because I've tipped Rupert's Wood to beat Wallen, I think Diggers Rest will go into third. Yep. Then you've got Wallen fourth, Macedon fifth, and Romsey sixth. Excellent. I have gone for a Riddle and uh, Rupert's Wood to play off in a qualifying final. The reason for the, I'd love to see that matchup is that it was the Sharks that knocked the Bombers out of the finals race last year, and the two have had a, quite a, a great rivalry over the years, so it's, uh, it'd be fitting for the first time ever that we see these two play off in a qualifying final. I've got uh, Wallen and Romsey playing off in the first elimination final. The um, the irony is that it was Romsey that defeated Wallen to knock them out of the finals race last year, so I'm excited that we get to see this match up again just a week later heading into the finals. And of course, the, probably the most decorated rivalry in, uh, in uh, over the last decade, more than a decade, we've got um, Masson and Diggers Rest playing off in the second elimination final. I'm losing track, it's probably seven or eight, it could be ten times uh, the second elimination final there, and, uh, and Diggers Rest have actually got the wood over them in most occasions too. So it's no surprise there was a bit of a run, I think, for four or five years straight that when Macedon just happened to sneak in the finals, Diggers Rest was there waiting for them and knocked them straight out. So um, I think it's great that we're going to see all those matches because from a footy fan, 
we, there's so much, there's so many stor stories to be told in that, particularly in relation to last year. Exactly, and not just last year. I think um, Riddle Rupo a couple of years ago played in a final where they played in the final round of the season. Rupert would got the win the mm. first week of the finals. Riddle knocked them out, and then Riddle ended up going through to play in the grand final. So yep. there is a little, a little bit of a history with a lot of these sides. And look, we've said all season probably the top five has been a clear top five, and we've said I think at times any one of those five could play in a grand final. Mm. Um, that sixth spot's been a little bit behind, but we've seen Romsey. And Wood and Heskett have shown uh, if wh whoever they play, they will go, they will challenge them if they're playing at their best, and they can knock them off as well. So, it'll be quite an interesting final series, I think. And there's still a little bit of romance too in the, the Romsey Wood and Heskett battle because the last time Wood and Heskett actually played in a final, I believe it was against Romsey as well. So, it's going to be one of those two sides that uh, that, that do make it. So, there is a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of great stories to be told here, which I think it makes exciting. If you had to pick a, a, a team that's going to win the premiership now, who would who would win it? Probably Riddle. Yeah. Why is that? I think just they seem to have. They've got so much depth, and I think at this point they haven't had the injuries that some of these other sides have. We've seen Macedon's had the injuries. Rupert's Woods have had the injuries. Rupert's Wood could depend on who they have like, come finals. If you get the likes of Chambers and Putt back, that makes a big difference to that Rupert's Wood side. They don't play. It's tough because they're, they're probably two of their best three players. So you've got the likes of that. Wallen is up and coming. It'll be interesting how they go coming in finals. Obviously, they missed last year how the pressure is in that next thing. You've got Macedon, who are the reigning premiers, so they can do anything. You get those players they had last year. And you look the last few weeks, the quality has rose to the top. Matt Dick, Daniel Markworth have been among their best the last couple of weeks. Diggers Rest, you can never rule out mm. Diggers Rest. And look, yeah, even Romsey, you've still got several premiership players part of that side. And then Wood and Heskett, is the big unknown if they make it. We don't know what they're like in finals. Yeah, they've they've snuck in, and you, you've seen we we did see six to beat third a few a few years ago. So it could be an interesting final series. I'm gonna put my goldfields hat on here, and I I think you now just just from a casual perspective, Wallen to win it because they just missed finals last year. We put on the uh, the, the Ballarat Footy Netball League hat on. East Point just missed out on finals last year, I think by percentage. Uh, East Point are now playing off in a qualifying final and now the Premiership favourites. So, you know, for two teams that are under the AFL Goldfields banner to just miss out on finals and then go, maybe both of them could, uh, could win the Premiership with all the hard work that both clubs have executed behind the scenes, I think there's a bit of a romance in that, just in, in itself, with, with in terms of that cross league stuff. I was going to say, unfortunately, romance isn't always yeah, what it comes that's to. That's right. It in, remember, Romeo and Juliet did end up in heartbreak, didn't it? It did exactly. Sorry so, to give away the ending there. Yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah, romance isn't always the but it, it me end result in that ball and football. So look, it'll be quite an interesting one, and as long see, hopefully, we've got all these sides with full teams on the park full strength and we see some really good um, football. Absolutely. Tara, thanks so much for joining us uh, this week and we look forward to talking finals next week. Thanks for having me.